Hello everybody, this is Dr. Cole. It's Sunday afternoon, August 28th. Now enter in week two of Political Science 1013 on the 16-week calendar for the fall 2022 term. Everyone, we have a discussion underway that will be running through tomorrow Monday. Actually, most of you will not be seeing this announcement till tomorrow Monday. Uh, please try to contribute to the discussion, post to the discussion by midnight Monday if you've not done so already. Post once and offer your thoughts on the discussion topic and then please try to respond to at least one of your classmates before the discussion period ends tomorrow at midnight. You are asked to look at a couple of articles and discuss the topic of violent resistance to the government, what you think of such a thing, whether you would ever do such a thing. Okay, and that is discussion one run through midnight and Monday the 29th. After that, everybody, our quiz is coming up this Thursday the 1st. This is our first of eight quizzes on Thursday, September 1st. You will have, let's see, I believe we give you 15 minutes to take the quiz. There will be 10 true false items. And you've been asked to look at three articles for the, uh, for the quiz. The first is called Americans Aren't Practicing Democracy Anymore. And it goes back to the Atlantic Monthly of 2018. Take a look at that. The author believes there are some things that the schools could do to strengthen democracy, although this doesn't involve putting on more courses in politics. So see what you think of what he says. I have an article from the New York Times, and when you look at that article, you'll find it's about political participation in Enid, Oklahoma, which is not very far away from those of us at Panhandle State. Uh, going back a year, several months ago, or a year or so, uh, at the height of the pandemic, when there was a disagreement about mask mandates in Enid, Oklahoma. So you can see what the people there thought about that and how they participated and expressed their views on mask mandates. It's sort of representative of what's been going on lately when all of us have kind of been preoccupied with the pandemic. Okay. Then finally, you have an article from the Wall Street Journal that suggests that our political manners have deteriorated in recent times. Okay. The article is called, Could This Be an Antebellum Age? Could this be an antebellum age? Now, when we say antebellum, we often refer to the period before the Civil War. Now, many people in the press, in the media these days, are discussing whether we are on the cusp of another civil war of some kind, whether there's going to be violent, uh, political activity in America because people are so diametrically opposed to each other and it's just not acceptable to them if the other side wins. At least many people seem to take that attitude. Now everyone, that article is from the Wall Street Journal which has a paywall up, but remember we sent you a message and you have instructions on how to access an article from the Wall Street Journal using the McKee Library website the OPSU website and the subscription that the McKee Library maintains to the Wall Street Journal. So you should be able to reach that article and read it free of charge. Look at that message that I sent out with those instructions. All right? Now, that quiz on Thursday, the first everybody will wind up Unit 1. As soon as, as, soon as Unit 1 uh, winds up, we'll put an assignment out for another quiz and another discussion on political parties and pressure groups, which is going to be Unit 2, and we'll have more to say about that next week, Unit 2. Okay, now for Unit 1, we should say a word. We didn't say much last week because we were concerned about laying out the syllabus and the course requirements. But let's talk a bit about what we're covering in the class notes for Unit 1, which will be winding up with the quiz that you're going to take Thursday. Okay, now the class notes start out with a discussion of democracy in general and in America in particular. Okay, so take a look at that. Uh, many people think that democracy in America is in trouble. I think I mentioned in the class notes that many people think we're going through a period of democratic backsliding in which our democracy is deteriorating. So uh, of course people have different views on that, but see what you think of that. After that, the next thing we do is go through several ways you could participate, all the way from voting to running for office. And it turns out there's a range of things that you could do. Okay. 
many people vote, many others do not, uh, there are things you could do in addition to voting that might make you vote more effective, make you a more effective participant than if you just voted. So we go through a range of things that you can do. And furthermore, we mentioned that there can be unconventional as well as conventional participation. By unconventional participation, we mean protest behavior, which can become violent, although it doesn't necessarily have to. And we could look at many examples of that. The Tea Party movement engaged in that type of activity. The Black Lives Matter movement has, especially after the killing of George Floyd back in the year 2020. Then, of course, there were the events at the United States Capitol on January 6, 2021. Okay, so take a look at that and see what you think. Now then, everybody, there's many ways to participate, but we pay a lot of attention to voting because elections determine who holds public office and who does not. Now, we look at two questions with regard to voting and elections. Okay? There's vote choice. How do people make their vote choice? And that's something you might be interested in as an election approaches, if you were wanting to try to predict the outcome. Okay? Why do people vote for the Republicans or the Democrats, or one candidate vis-a-vis -vis another? Okay? But there's another question we have to get to before we talk about vote choice, because some people vote and others do not. There are about as many non-voters as voters. And it turns out the voters and the non-voters are different from each other. They're not the same kind of people, which raises the question of whether our elections really are representative of the whole population. Okay. So why do people, some people turn out and others do not? Okay, that's the question of turnout, which we have to look at before we get to vote choice. So that's what we try to do in Unit 1. That's what you'll be looking at in the Unit 1 class notes. And that will be winding up with the quiz that we'll take on Thursday, this Thursday, September 1st. Once we take that, the following day we will roll out another quiz topic and discussion, uh, discussion topic and some things to look at for a second quiz on political parties and pressure groups. And we'll say more about that about a week from now at this time. In the meantime, okay, please take part in the discussion that will end up on Monday at midnight. Please try to post twice to the discussion and look at that material as closely as you can for the quiz on Thursday. Fifteen minutes, ten true false items based on those three articles we asked you to look at. For quiz number one, you can take it any time Thursday, September 1st, 24 hours. Fifteen minutes to take the quiz once you start it. Okay? And with that, we'll we hope you will study hard, and when you're not studying hard, take it easy. And we'll talk to you again uh, about this time next week.